So, a quick and dirty video here to talk a little bit about the HXC 2001 SD card floppy emulator that I am trying to uh, put into my Amiga 2000. There's the 2000 over there. Here's the unit here. It's actually a little um, microcontroller based computer that uses SD card as storage and it emulates a PC style floppy drive and so it works with the Amiga, the Atari ST, the PC, a lot of the British computers and a few others, um, a good range really. Anyway, um, I should have taken the video at the beginning of this process but it didn't occur to me so I'm pretty much done really. This is the board in question and uh, here I've got it wired, I've wired the uh, sort of uh, set of front front panel mounted buttons and you can see that here. This is the Amiga 2000 uh, five and a quarter inch faceplate and I've got a uh, up, down and select button wired in there and this is the uh, opening for the uh, two, two line LCD which you actually don't need for the, on the Amiga because there's a uh, Amiga-based floppy selection program, but it makes it a little bit easier, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, use it as it came with the system. Anyway, so I'm about to uh, try to take the, the microcontroller board and mount it into this uh, Amiga floppy enclosure, and that's not easily done as I kind of have to glue it, and then I'll add it to the, um, to the uh, two-drive mounting plate and put it in the Amiga 2000. And over here at the Amiga, I've got the uh, two-line LCD wired up. Um, this actually works, it's a little sloppy, but it works. And uh, Radio Shack had such a lack of parts that I needed that I ended up having to cut a, uh, a dip chip socket in half and use this as a sort of a, uh, a mounting point. Anyway, hopefully it'll It'll work once everything's hooked up, and here I've got the Amiga 2000 with, uh, it's empty right now, I've got the, uh, I've had to pull out the hard card, and the serial board, and the Ethernet card, which is down under there. Anyway, I'm going to try to mount everything back together, and power it up, and I should end up with a pretty sweet uh, way to run any disk image uh, straight on the actual hardware, which is nice, because the Amiga is... Um, it's a complex machine to emulate. It's a lot, you lose a bit more in emulating the Amiga on a PC or a Mac as compared to something like the Atari ST or a uh, C64 or that kind of thing. I uh, actually ended up uh, getting a new, a new set of helping hands which has made this uh, a lot easier. Uh, I never had a proper set of that for the soldering and um, Okay, I've got the uh, I've got everything wired up, and I'm about to uh, where's that light? I'm about to uh, let's see. The, it's, it's ridiculous. The cables, the wires. I should have actually uh, kind of bundled those, but um, anyway, I'm about to uh, put the case back on. So now I've got the uh, SD card floppy emulator in place. As you can see, it's mounted in the uh, Amiga 2000 drive bay, a removable drive bay, so it was nice to not have to actually cut into the, uh, the, main, uh, the main plastic uh, front piece. And um, here I've got the, uh, the SD card slot mounted right at the front of the floppy drive. So uh, actually the, the board is, is the same size as the standard three and a half inch floppy. So you can just mount it in your, in your drive enclosure, and so you just insert it, and um, you're basically putting in a floppy, or, or several thousand floppies. Anyway, you can see, uh, you've got the uh, up-down buttons, the select, and then there's a display. Let me power on. Here we go. And it's going to the auto boot. Uh, and what that is, is it, there's an Amiga program that is a menu system that directly accesses the uh, the uh, card. You can see it's counting the tracks off and uh, activity lights. And it's an Amiga app and it directly accesses the, uh, the 
disk. You can see it says direct access. And um, anyway, it shows you what's on your card. I've just got a few things on here. Um, ooh, that's kind of blurry. Uh, let me just go to games. And it gives you a listing of what you've got. I'm going to load uh, one of my favorites is Virus from uh, David Braben. Uh, and so you select it to um, go into the uh, drive A. You can select something for drive B. I've got it set to emulate two drives. And let's reboot. Okay, and you can see it's got virus right there. I think uh, really having some focus issues on this video. I apologize. Uh, you can hear a little tick uh, with every track seek. And uh, it's counting off the tracks, the sides. Um, and uh, so let's see, let's let virus load. Pardon the reflections and all that good stuff in here. Yep, got your root loader. Okay. And there we are. Virus. Uh, so, pretty much any game that will load off of a the standard Amiga disk image is ADF. Uh, you do need to run them through a PC uh, based conversion app. Which I uh, I run over here on the I've got an HP uh, here that I run the conversion with uh, it converts them to HFE files. It's a very fast process, and um, there you can see we've got virus running. Just running the demo, and um, it works great. If you need to, uh, you can actually go in here through the menu. Um, you can control the system. See, you can control the system with the buttons alone. You don't need that that uh, Amiga program that selects disks. Um, so let me. I'm going to go through. Uh, select OK Drive A. Now let's go through and look at disks and see it. Um, here, how does it work? OK Drive A. Good okay, drive selected. Now you, you're looking at the uh, files on the SD. Those are directories. Um, if I want to go to uh, games, I select it. And now I'm looking at file names. Um, it scrolls what it uh, what it can't fit on the tiny display, and that means basically everything. So you probably can't even see anything here. But um, anyway, it's good stuff. And you just select it, and then see Xenon 2. That's what I selected, and if I booted it, we'd go there. This is one of my very favorite demo songs. This is a ham mode 4096 color animated 
ray traced scene, which looks just pretty awesome for a computer that came out in 1985. 